5 million aliens live among people. According to statements given by former government UFO expert James Kuhn, there are 5 million aliens living among us. In the search for extraterrestrial life, we may not need to look further than the person sitting or standing adjacent to us. Quite a thought-provoking thought but even your spouse or other loved ones could be some sort of alien or alien hybrid of sorts. This may even explain why certain people behave strangely in different situations. It isn't because they are crazy per se, but that they are unable to react as a human being naturally would. Dr. James Kuhn has identified over 1,000 different cases throughout his career with the U.S. government. Perhaps the very purpose of these aliens living here are to simply observe us and what it is we do each and every day. They study our social behavior and how we interact with one another. This would be comparable to watching animals in a zoo-type environment. One defaulted problem, for some of these aliens, has become their attachment to those around them. They have grown fond of them and it is difficult for them to simply let go. If someone wonders whether or not they are married to an alien, they might instinctively be right. After all, we only use a small portion of our brain. What if we can sense things like this? It would be an instinct embedded into our very consciousness. When thinking about this subject you can't think human. These beings have far more collective knowledge than humankind has currently. Kuhn also said, that these aliens are evenly split meaning that half are male and the other half female. Most of them are married, yet are childless. Through the research that Kuhn has done, he said there is a 50-50 chance to be married to an alien. He personally has identified a number of them as they attempted to pass themselves off as being human. Kuhn also said that their motives for coming here remain unclear. Typical assumptions are, they are here for some kind of world conquest or a desire to live on another planet altogether. Perhaps even, they have suffered from an overcrowded planet and had to relocate elsewhere. Another statement mentioned by Kuhn said, some of these aliens are Zebans, the peaceful aliens and others are Gutens, the evil aliens. It makes one wonder, whether or not these alien entities are capable of real love and understand like a human being. For procreation, they continue to mate with us as more offspring into the world. All of this is a wild thought but in certain moments dot it makes you wonder about people and alien activities. The longer that these aliens have remained here on Earth, they have become far more eager for companionship. It is natural to pair off with another. Eventually, they began developing actual loving relationships with humans. Dr. Kuhn also said, One of the most surprising findings in my research is that these alien-human relationship are among Earth's strongest marriages. While the overall divorce rate for US marriages is hovering around 50%, almost 90% of alien-human marriages last well beyond the so-called seven-year rich that often marks the end of human-to-human -human marriage. All joking aside, if your happy marriage is leading you to suspect that your spouse may be an alien, you're in luck. Dr. Kuhn has identified several signs that indicate your husband or wife may have extraterrestrial origins. According to Kuhn, alien husbands are handy, fix-it-all types. This is obviously a function of their highly developed mechanical and scientific skills. Dr. Kuhn says, They usually have every high-tech power tool they can get their hands on, and keep it all compulsively organized. And while the majority will ask for help when they need it, a significant number are just as stubborn about things as human men. Kuhn continues, I suspect that a lot of aliens are on this planet only because they wouldn't listen to people on their own planets. Alien wives are all about sharing and division of labor and manual chores. And, Kuhn says, when their husbands did not offer to help with these duties, Several alien wives reported feeling hurt and insulted. 
They are also quite analytical and logical when making an argument. Although we are beginning to see the early development of the skill of weeping, Dr. Kuhn says, as alien women become more assimilated into our civilization. Five alien species already walking amongst us, one the Lyrans, it's a widely held belief that the Lyrans are our oldest ancestors. In fact, there are those that believe that the Lyrans were actually the first humans to form a civilization in the Milky Way galaxy. To the Arcturians, after many eons of existence, one of the oldest alien species in our galaxy, the Arcturians, have reached such an ascended state that many classify them as a fifth dimension civilization. 3. The Telosians, described as being tall, blonde humanoids, the Telosians are believed by many to be the last survivors of long-lost human civilizations on Earth. For the Alpha Centaurians, the extraterrestrials from Alpha Centauri easily have the power to not only destroy us but any other aggressive alien species. They are considered to be the most technologically advanced alien species in the Milky Way galaxy. 5. The Pleiadians, believed to be descendants of the early Lyrans, the Pleiadians, in some circles, have come to represent one of the humanity's most active allies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.